Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, we are going right back to 1989 and I'm sharing another one of the original 1989 Polly Pocket Compacts with you. This is Polly's Country Cottage. Um, this is probably one of the more iconic sets from 1989 and um, fortunately, uh, I remembered to show it to you finally. Uh, there's so many of these compacts that we just haven't gotten around to. So um, I'm excited to show you this one today. I love this compact. I just love the heart shape of it. I love just how classic Polly Pocket this looks. I can't wait to show you around. So let's get started. Today's video is the 1989 Country Cottage. Um, this one, I just feel <laughs> this is what people think of when they think of Polly Pocket, right? They think of that heart-shaped compact case, these thinner compacts that the original compacts were like. So um, this one, Starlight Castle, this this iconic heart shape, I really feel is, is the spirit of what people think of when they think of vintage Polly Pocket. So excited to be showing you this one today. So we'll work through it as per usual. I'm gonna open it up, we'll work from top to bottom. But here it is inside. So, um, gosh, this one needs to be cleaned. <laughs> should we just clean it, folks? We should probably just clean it. I'm going to get out my cleaner. So this one is one of those, bear with me wonderful original sets where uh, it's kind of got a little bit of everything. I will say that uh, if you know me, you know that I'm upset uh, that there's no toilet in this one, but I digress. So uh, upstairs we've got a bathroom. We've got a, I guess this is meant to be the kitchen. It's really two chairs, a tiny little table and a kitchen and on the side, um, tiny stove with a tea kettle, I would say. A living room with a couch and a fireplace and then upstairs is a bedroom with a vanity and then downstairs here or outside there are some steps down to a courtyard where we have our friend the fish pond so um, they've made so much good use of stickers here so this fish pond is obviously a sticker but the stickers um, for the back of the top that's all of course stickers so this white detail is painted and then these um, shrubs along the side are painted and there's this tiny little turtle that's also painted so um, that sort of peachy light pink plastic is the core plastic the rest of that would be painted um, now this is always a little tricky when you've got stickers involved so you'll see i'm holding this up so i don't get those stickers wet uh, but this set is kind of gross here I am not even looking at things before I show them to you on camera. Uh, but we love, a, we love a spontaneous cleaning video, don't we? So this is one of those sets that I've had for a long time just sitting up in my collection. And I would say, you know, of all the sets I've come across from purchasing lots, I don't get this one a lot. I don't know if it's particularly rare or if it's just me. Um, but I don't come across this one a lot and I don't think it's rare to my knowledge, but uh, anyway, here we are. So, yikes. This one was way, way dirtier than I, I thought. Goes to show I put things, I catalog things, I put them on my shelf and then I don't come back to them. Uh, so I'm probably due for a good cleaning check of my collection upstairs. So we will just wrap up this quick wipe down. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Just can't bear to leave it the way it was. Okay, much better, much better, much better. Um, yuck, so <laughs> thank you. In case anyone's wondering, this is what I use. Um, you can get this on Amazon. Uh, that's my plastic cleaner that I like to use. Okay, so let's talk about the figures. So 
first of course we've got Polly so uh, she has that classic permed hair um, the hair is the exact same color as the dress so it <laughs> just kind of blends into one thing uh, she's got red shoes red bow tie and she has a red headband um, I feel like she has very strong McDonald's energy but that's her um, next up there is a dog so the dog is white with some black details so a black tail a black nose and a black spotted eye he's quite cute and then the third piece is a cat figure so little sort of uh, orangey tan colored cat with brown features so those are the three figures and of course there's little spots for them in here for the cat and the dog they have to have their special sized placement there we go i know how to use this i swear okay and then interestingly there's oh geez <laughs> there's only one place for polly there's no other places to put her so i find that in some of these earlier sets they really didn't put a lot of places that you could put the figures and then on the later sets it, it feels like they had them everywhere um probably based on some feedback well, this, these pets really just like do not want to stay um but i love this how cute is this little i believe this is a i want to say that's a lantern here um little bridge just a great little set so um let's also just admire i'm just holding these animals <laughs> this gate it's got a really cute front gate so it has a knocker on it I'm gonna take these animals out and it just it's a very cute gate so not much more to it it's a very simple set but um, I, I will say again like just having this set in the collection the way that this set looks on the shelf I think if you were to ask someone in Pictionary to draw a Polly Pocket they'd probably draw it just like this so uh, that's the 1989 Country Cottage again tell me in the comments what's your favorite thing about this set <laughs> Alright, so as always, I would love to know what your favorite part of this set was in the comments. Please like the video, leave a comment for me. All of that helps the channel. Um, but uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go out and say it. Mine is going to be the fish pond. I love the fish pond. It's so cute. And, you know, I feel like this was the OG fish pond. So um, there you have it. Let me know what your favorite part of this set was. Um, so there's still a bunch of sets that I haven't shown yet from any of these like compacts, these, these early compacts. So if there is a compact that you would love for me to do a video on that I have not done a video on yet, or at least you don't think I've done on a video on yet, please let me know that in the comments as well too, because uh, honestly, I just, I go stare at my display cabinet and I'm like, gosh, what have I forgotten to show? Um, and there's so much in there. <laughs> So, you know, if you've got requests, just, just put them in the comments for me. If, it, if I've got it, I'll do it. Um, so, yeah, that's really it for me for today. Not a ton going on. Um, just trying to keep up with everything that's, that's happening. But um, if you have not hit the subscribe button yet, please do that. I come out with new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. Um, so if you want to stay up to date on all things Vintage Polly Pocket, this is your source. You can also find me over on social media. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. That's the best place to connect with me outside of YouTube. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.